Welcome to a brand new RSC video. Today we'll be going over the Roblox HTTP service. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe for future videos. You, wanna miss, you wouldn't want to miss out on those. And that won't work. So, before we begin, what is HTTP service exactly? HTTP service is a feature that you can use to send data to other platforms which are not integrated with Roblox. One example is Discord. You can use this feature to send data, messages, or almost anything from Roblox to the off Roblox platform. Before I begin, open Roblox Studio and publish a game. Go to the security tab and enable HTTP requests. This will make it uh, so that we can enable HTTP in our game. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple message uh, message sender maybe. You're gonna uh, there's gonna be a text box, and the player is gonna type in the message and press enter. And this message is gonna go directly to our Discord server through a webhook. So the first thing we need to do is go into replicated storage and add a remote event. This is gonna help us interact with the local script and the server script. We're gonna name this webhook. Now that we finished that, we'll, we'll make a quick GUI uh, that includes the text box. So, let's go into start GUI and add a screen GUI, and I'm gonna name it webhook text box. And inside, I'm gonna add a simple text box. I'm gonna change the position to the middle. So. Work. Okay. I think that might work. No, 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 no. All right. Let's just leave it like that. All right. So we have our webhook text box and the text box itself. And inside, I'm going to add a local script. We're going to get back to that local script in just a minute. But next, we have to add a server script inside server script service. And you can name it webhook controller, webhook handler. And the first thing I want to add is we're going to get the HTTP service. So local HTTP service equals game get service HTTP service. And below that, we're going to add our webhook URL. Local webhook URL. And in quotation marks, we're just going to add our webhook. So to create a webhook, go to your Discord server, click edit channel. To the channel that you want the messages to be sent to, click integrations and click create webhook. Inside you can change the name of the webhook and the profile image. Let's just make mine a little bit. Just like that. Now that we finished, below the name is a copy webhook URL button. Click that and you have the URL for the webhook, and you can paste it right in the quotation marks in our code. Alright, next, we have to create a function. This will make the code more organized and easier to use. So, local function post to Discord. And we're not going to add any parameters. Actually, we do need one parameter, we need a message. And we're also going to create a data table. So inside here, we're going to add the content of the message that we're going to send. So the content is going to be what's inside the text box. Now below that, we have to define what data is. So data is HTTP service JSO, JSON EN code. There are two, but you need the EN. And in here, we're going to add data. And right below that, we're going to add HTTP service, post async, webhook URL data. So it's going to post it using the webhook, and it'll send the data in the webhook, and I'll send it to the Discord server. Now we finished with that, we're going to uh, 
like control the web hook. We're gonna integrate it. So game oops game dot replicated storage dot webhook dot on server event connect function and the first parameter gonna be player by default and text. We need the player parameter for this to work. Because by default the player parameter is first. And inside we're just gonna add post to Discord as our function and text. Alright, we have finished with the server script, so now we're gonna go back to that local script and inside we're gonna first define our player, so local PLR equals game.players.local player. And we're gonna define our text box as well. So local text box equals script.parent. Alright. Now that that's done, we have to find a way for to detect when the player hits enter on the keyboard. And this function is called focus lost. It detects when the player has pressed enter so that we can um, start the function, we can start the code. So textbox.focus lost, connect function, and we're gonna add enter pressed as the parameter. So if enter is pressed, then we're going to define our text that is in the text box that we write. That's originally the message. So it equals textbox.text. So text equals textbox.text. And we're going to fire the event. So game.replicated storage dot webhook fire server. And I want to add text in the parameter. Now we also want to do one more thing with the text box, and we want to disable multi-line and maybe clear on focus. And that will be it. We can actually enable text scaled. All right. So if we save this and publish it, you can only test it in the actual game server. So. I'm gonna go to Roblox and I'm gonna go to create untitled game and let's see if this works. So here we have our Discord server, I'm just gonna do it like that. So it's gonna do every time we click enter with a new message, it will send that message to a webhook into the Discord server. So I'm gonna say subscribe to RSC. I clicked enter. And as you can see, the webhook said what we said in the message, subscribe to RSC. Or let's do focus lost again. And we got another. So it just grabs the HTTP, sends the data to Discord through the webhook, and sends the message as a Discord message. And this works for embeds, normal messages, you can use it for player logs, such as join logs, chat logs. You can make it so that players can suggest future features for your game or anything. It's a very useful tool. You can use it for Trello. You can use it for anything. You can even grab data from another source and send it to Roblox. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. You can also comment down below for future videos, and I'll be seeing you in our next video.